I'm Ryan Delon, president and partner of MLA Canada, and welcome to another episode of The Real Estate Intelligent. This is an interview series featuring BC's most prolific professionals shaping the local real estate industry. Prolific. Got it. Love it. Uh, today, I'm joined by Emily Canada's Okanagan Director of Sales, Taylor Muzeau. So today, we're focused on one of the hottest secondary marketplaces in British Columbia. And we're speaking with Taylor. We're going to jump deep into both the macro and the micro real estate trends in the Okanagan marketplace. And most recently, the successful launch of Kapan by Cressy. Super excited about that. So Taylor, we've known each other for some time. Uh, you've had an incredible career. You've operated in almost every major marketplace across Canada. Uh, you're very active right now in the Kelowna marketplace. Uh, tell us what you've been up to recently. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. It's been super exciting. I have had the opportunity to work from coast to coast on both the residential resale all the way up to the condo pre-construction market. And it has been busy this year focusing on the pre-construction. And like you mentioned, Caban by Cressy was a fantastic opportunity in the Okanagan. I just love the fact that you've been, um, that you've seen it uh, both both the way that the East Coast transacts pre-sale multifamily. And then, of course, a very active player in the West coast way of doing business as well and they are very different right extremely different the way that you would take a coast west coast uh, project to market is complete opposite of how you do it on the east coast so it was a great experience being able to work in both markets for a number of years and i'm kind of curious like which one do you feel applies best when you're thinking about the Kelowna marketplace definitely the west coast um, you know you're way more focused on bringing the project direct to the buyer versus the east coast where you're going to the agent so this is way more of an experience for the buyer you get to work hand in hand one on one with them directly so the past 24 months have been quite the roller coaster in british columbia uh, we have the recession of 2019 you have 2020 and covid and 2021 has all been about that asset gold rush, especially in secondary markets like Okanagan. Um, I'm really curious, what is it that you're feeling and how much has that marketplace shifted over the, like say the last eight to 12 months? It's been interesting. I actually came back to the Okanagan right when COVID hit. At that time I was working in Toronto and so a big major market came back to the Okanagan for COVID. We kind of kept cruising through, even though the world was going through something very difficult and a big major change, the Okanagan market still held strong. It's just a, a concept of people coming from these larger cities and realizing they can work from home now and not having to live in the city centers, which is driving more and more traffic to these smaller markets. I'm gonna pull on that string just a little bit. So when you talk about that steady demand uh, moving all throughout COVID, did you feel as COVID and a pandemic um, that impacted you know every part of the world, did you feel like the, the demand actually increased for places like Kelowna? It really did. We saw a big surge and the numbers in the Okanagan definitely grew during that time. Um, what we thought was gonna be one of our worst years ended up being one of our best. And that again is just people coming here from other areas now that they don't have to be you know living downtown Toronto, living downtown Vancouver they can have a better lifestyle and work and from home in, a, in an area like the Okanagan right I mean we have such an active pipeline both in uh, throughout all parts of the Okanagan we've been working very closely together on a number yeah. of projects we're very excited about that um, as as we've seen that market shift it's had uh, it's had some impact in terms of how we're shaping communities and also beginning to inform us around amenitizations and also locations that we thought maybe weren't ideal traditionally especially as you start seeing this unhinging from office and, and home absolutely and that's just changing the type of property that's being built is changing um, the demographic is changing so everything is the world is shifting is shifting in the Okanagan as well too and you know we're seeing more condo towers and higher density than we used to a few years ago and again that's just to help with all of the traffic that's coming in and all of the new homeowners. Mm -hmm.